So Chevy's got his Bordetella. All ready to go to daycare. Yeah. We have some special guests that came over today, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Good oh to see you oh all. I, I, I'm not seeing you, but you're seeing me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they brought us some gifts that we want to open up here for the baby. A whole box full. There's actually, oh, I haven't actually looked at it. There's a lot in here. Yeah, Oma went a little bit crazy. <laughs> so Oma is German for grandma mm -hmm. and Opa is. is German for grandpa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the way we tell the difference between the different sides of the family. When I was growing up, my mom's mom and dad was grandma and grandpa to me. And my dad's mom and dad was Oma and Opa. That way you always know who you're talking about. You don't just say grandma and you're, which grandma? Yeah, yeah that's but right. Yeah, this will exactly. be Oma and Opa. Yeah. That's the way we grew up as well, too. It's easier to tell apart. No, I, I never did get to know my grandparents that well at all. My grandfathers, they died way before I even came around. Yeah, I got to know my grandfathers. Not my grandmothers as much. Uh, especially my mom's mom, I never got to know because she died when we left Mexico. That's right, yeah. yeah. So you were just... I remember, I remember seeing her um, in Mexico. They put them on sand, like cold sands, and keep it wet. That's where they keep the bodies, and that's oh, how I, I remember seeing her last. Oh, yeah. yeah, they didn't have yeah. air conditioned buildings to keep yeah. them in the morgue like that, so they just oh. oh. sand and then came here. the next day they had to be the funeral. Oh, wow. Very close. Things have changed a lot since then. No kidding. Yeah. The kid, they had the clothes hang on there? They yeah. They come in? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and these are. Baby hangers, Baby hangers. We already have a few packs of those. They're amazing. Yes, we learned. Uh, well, Britt learned then learned me. Taught me that they're yeah baby hangers. You would think that uh, you would just use a regular hanger. No. Nay nay. Their clothes fall off on regular hangers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We got uh, what is this That's pacifier pod? If it's not in the baby's mouth, you put it in, the, in oh, there. Oh, so the, keep it, it from falling on the ground. Mm -hmm getting all full of dog hair yeah <laughs> a lot of our stuff is gonna be based on dogs again yeah. even yeah. baby stuff yeah. little middies so they don't scratch themselves yeah baby baby nails are lethal oh yeah yeah you guys went crazy there's lots of stuff got terry cotton socks first baby in almost 13 years i'm not surprised yeah. it went a little crazy mom i love dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've told the vlog before, but we'll tell you again that there, there hasn't been a grandchild on either side of the family in almost 13, 13 years. years. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's been a little while. That's butts. Baby butts. Baby, Baby butts. butts. That's something what, to do with something for the butt. That's what my cousin uses on <laughs> yeah. her kids, and that's it's amazing. It. For a rash, if the baby has rash, yeah. Should I try it out, see if it works? Do you got a rash on your butt? <laughs> I can see it, yeah. I'm not rubbing it on your butt. <laughs> uh, that's a cover for either a oh, stroller. Oh, mosquito net. Bassinet. You, you can put it on your uh, bassinet or your uh, yes. pack and play. So the baby doesn't get eaten alive. Premium baby shampoo and wash. Hello, Bello. We that's, were actually looking at these. Yes, that's recently. also a name brand that my cousin uses and highly recommends. Yeah. Hello Bello again, premium baby lotion. We were looking at that too. Those are the big ones. I expected the little ones like they have in store. Those are bassinet Three sheets. Bassinet bed sheets. Nice. For that bassinet yeah, we're gonna together. we haven't even checked. I have one set. We haven't even checked to see if it fits yet. Oh. So that's good. Big one. Oh, this is the baby carrier. Yeah, baby you were just carrier. talking about that yes. the other day. Yes. I'm going to be able to get stuff done because of that thing. Yeah, there are many different ways of wearing it. Yeah. See, and you can take the baby with you everywhere. 8 to 32 pounds. We were just talking about this yesterday when we were looking at them. Nice. And I'm pretty sure they don't recommend using it until the baby's at least like two weeks yeah, or more. Head up yeah. More. All this baby stuff is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it is, right? Like, it's all so new. And a Hello Baby baby monitor. That was one of the top rated ones in Canada this year. So I'm guessing it has audio. Yeah, it has audio both. Yeah, in things. fact, it has two-way audio. Two-way audio. We'll leave it in here so I don't get damaged or get my... Oh, you can look at it's it. It's got a room temperature display, two-way communication, infrared night vision, lullabies, yeah. vox mode, alarm function, up to a thousand foot range, 300 meters. It's got a long cord on it, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Oma and Opa. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Baby appreciates yeah. you. One in fact, they're rolling the around right now as we speak in there. Yeah. One day down the road, and probably when they understand in 10 to 
10 years or so, they'll watch this video. That's All right. this stuff <laughs> is from your Oma and Opa. You are spoiled already. <laughs> The project continues. It may not look like we're making much progress, but believe me, we are. I've got one load of stuff I'm taking to the shop for storage today. Coming back here, I'm grabbing this wardrobe. We've emptied out this closet. I'm gonna put our blankets up there that are in that wardrobe. So that's going to the shop to get painted and that tall dresser right there is also going to the shop for storage. Don't need it in here. That's where the bassinet is going to go. Once baby comes, there's a bassinet there. And all of this will be cleared out for the most part. And then we're going to start with painting the ceiling and work our way down. Should be fun. Britt's books are going to be going in here now. She's uh, a dedicated reader. A little bit of a bookworm. A little bit. I get sick of TV. I'm not working right now, so, you know. <laughs> There's only so much you can do with TV and phones. She reads a book a day, pretty much. No, I don't. It's very I close. I only read six last month. That's like a book every week. Well, every five days. It's more than that. <gasps> so we have uh, this dresser taken out of here now. And that's where the bassinet will be until baby is old enough to be in a crib in the other room. Yeah. Just gotta organize all this stuff now. Got that closet cleared out on the bottom. Cheers. Come on, fingers work. Up on top is where the blankets will go. Frank, oh, have you have not been right. helping. Diesel, Diesel, have you been? That was the second time you've almost made me fall. You guys, why do you have to lay right in the high traffic areas? You, you could you could lay, lay right back there and you'd never be a problem. He's a backup. 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 In there. You see? Somewhere where we're not walking regularly. There you go. You see? No one's going to trip on you. No one's going to step on your paws there. Good boy. I think he's very fun though. People don't notice me here. In the shadows, a shadow weasel, forgotten shadow weasel. Got the pickup in the shop, and this is what we have <laughs> accumulated in here so far, making room for baby. Eventually, like I said, we'll have a bigger house, and uh, we'll have much more storage at the house. But for now, uh, this is the shop. It's the garage and it's also the storage. Multi-use purpose. And we have the storage anyway, so why not, right? Where else are we gonna leave it? Outside in that shed in our backyard? It's not insulated, it'll freeze. And all this stuff we really don't want to freeze in the wintertime. So, huh, it works, right? It works, that's why we have the shop. So I'm just grabbing the rest of my stuff right here. Taking it to Old Blue outside, who's already warmed up, hooked up, ready to go. Let's get going. Into Ontario. The weekend always goes so quickly, so fast. It's so nice to have a long weekend every weekend, right? But it is what it is. On my driver's side mirror here, you see that brown spot in the bottom left corner? It's bothering me. It's actually because the mirror is cracked. I think when I was adjusting it once, maybe I didn't do it carefully enough. Or these mirrors are just a little weak because there's a little bit of a crack up on the top of the wind, uh, mirror as well. And there's a crack at the bottom of that mirror over there and at the top, I'm just seeing. So it's hard to have nice things because you pay a good penny for these good new mirrors, right? And they end up just cracking all the time. I've never had mirrors crack on me before, and then I guess the water gets in there and it rusts behind the mirror and then it turns it brown. It's too bad. Guess I'll have to go with a different brand next time. Not very impressed with that. But they're still functional, they still work. We'll worry about that this summer.
Got a few other things on our plate right now. Construction. I think this is that blast zone. Not too sure what's going on here. I just saw some police walking around in the traffic here. They went off to the left. I don't know what's going on. Got this guy broken down here on the left. I don't know why the cops would be here. Oh, they're talking to that guy in that Tesla. Or the lady in the Tesla. She must have been speeding. Oh, there's another OPP right here. What in the world? Maybe they're just watching this stretch of highway making sure people don't speed through here. Because sometimes people will go past that sign holder, right? Which says slow, and then they'll just floor it and book it through the construction zone. I've seen that happen before. Maybe that's what they're trying to prevent. Giving out tickets for people speeding through here. progress though that's for sure they've widened this section here it's going to be four lanes coming through here uh, probably I'm guessing in the next year or two at the rate they're going they're making good progress which looks like a big oil rig or mini oil rig. I think that's what drills the dynamite or drills the holes for the dynamite. Oh yeah, there they are up on the hill. On the right, they're drilling holes. I'll stick the dynamite down there. That is so neat. Oh, it's blowing stuff up. But the, I bet no one's late for work on this job. Everyone's all excited. It's Monday. You get to blow stuff up again. I know I'd be excited to get to work. SUV was gonna cut cut into my lane yet. Oh thought for sure. This construction zone is all the way around the corner. What are they doing over here? All the way around the corner here. Oh they're blasting over here too. sitting here too. I think that looks like a cop. Maybe not. Making sure we're all being good boys and girls. It's a lot more complicated to make a highway in northern Ontario than it is in on the prairies, that's for sure. That's no excuse though, I still want a four lane all the way through. I'll keep pressuring them through my videos, don't worry. One day it'll happen, all the way through to Toronto and all the way through to Ottawa from Winnipeg, four lane divided. With our freight behind us, we're on the way. Slide right on. Trans Canada Highway, Highway 11. I just confirmed that 
My shipment is cleared to cross the border. It's customs certified. We're gonna cross from Fort Francis, Ontario into International Falls, Minnesota. I'm gonna have to get into that lane though. Kind of a nighttime drive today, or tonight. Got about another three hours to go. Well, a little more than that probably with the speed limits. Probably three and a half hours or so. Flight by on, Trans Canada Highway, Highway 11 and then turn right at 410 meters. Which will probably get me there around 12.30 at night. That's what I'm thinking, between 12.30 and 1 a.m. I really like driving at night. I've always been a night owl. It's just, everything's quieter, there's less people on the road. Just the only thing is, in wintertime, you do have to be careful with that, because with there being less people out and about, it also means that there's less mechanics out and about if something goes wrong, and less service trucks. And you have to pay a hefty fee if you want a service call during the night, so if you break down, Usually a lot more expensive to get someone out there to fix you. Well, here's a question I have for you locals. If Karen will stop talking over me. So here we got a red light going this way, right? But there's a sign right here that says right turn permitted on red signal. But you can't turn red. Uh, you can't turn right on red because there's no right turn. You have to go straight into the water. Is this considered a a right turn because it kind of angles to the right but it's just straight this to me is straight that's left it says right turn permitted on red signal i'm not just going to blow through a red but i'm assuming they mean that you're allowed to that's weird that's weird now i just wait for a green light every time uh, i don't know some of you locals around fort francis can you tell me what this sign <laughs> means there is no right turn. Is that just like a like a like a practical joke by the town council? Tell them that they can turn right on red, but don't give them a right turn to make. Attention travelers at the next intersection, yield to transport trucks accessing the US border truck lane. That's right everybody, you yield to us. We don't yield to you. We are very important, very important. We are carrying the economy. Stay clear, stand back. So once we make this corner, we are committed. We are crossing into the US. Can't back up from here. I mean, technically, <laughs> we could. You see all these cameras all over the place? They'd probably come uh, ask some questions right away. Like, what are you doing? Or maybe they wouldn't, who knows? Well, everyone, Karen is still talking over me. It's getting kind of annoying. Oh, we used to have to go down this bridge. Now they're saying all vehicles go this way. Okay. All right, then. I'll go this way, then. I will talk to you when we're on the other side. And just like that, poof. Or ding dong. We're in America. Our friendly neighbors. It's always nice coming for a visit. City of International Falls.
like a ghost town, eh? Guess everyone's at home. Nobody out. Usually there's at least somebody parked on the street here, right? What's the fuel price here for gasoline? They're charging $3.29 a liter. Or if you want to believe the sign, it's $3.28 and 9 tenths of a cent. So what you got to do is you got to take an American penny and you got to cut one tenth off of it. For each gallon you buy. I don't know why they do that. Like, you're not fooling anybody. They do the same thing in Canada. Oh, the gas price is $1.989 per liter. What do you mean 0.9 of a cent? We don't even have cents anymore. Like, we don't, we literally don't have pennies anymore because it costs more to produce them than they were worth in Canada. We only have nickels. That's our lowest currency. What do you mean 0.9 of a cent? It's not $1.989, it's $1.99. Don't lie to me. You're not fooling anybody. Like, do people really like pull up to the gas station like, oh good, it's $1.98, not $1.90, because if it was $1.99, I would not have stopped in for gas here. Nope, I would have gone across the street. You know what? Maybe I have a little too much faith in humanity. There are people probably out there that, that are like that. They, they, they're probably, they probably exist. And that's why they put the nine tenth of a cent or 0.9. Because it really does fool people. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course it works. That's why they do it. Deer River, Minnesota. This is where we're going to park for tonight. Tired. That's me. Ah. First day back on the road is always the toughest. Get back into the swing of things. Even though I just had a couple of days off, just getting back into it is ah bittersweet. It's nice to get the roll the, the wheels rolling again, smell the diesel fuel, you know, get old blue running. But also, it's the first day after, you know, sleeping in my own bed for a couple of nights, and I don't know. I also got a little bit of a later start today. We didn't start first thing in the morning. We had to go and uh, sign some paperwork and stuff first thing this morning. And then I went to the Old Blue and got the truck ready after that. So I didn't get going first thing in the morning, so that's probably why I feel a little more tired. We had to get up kind of early to get to our appointment that we had but uh, everything is all good we're still on schedule i got my load picked up got it tarped we made it here safely the weather's actually really nice it's about zero celsius outside tonight but 32 fahrenheit that is so much better than minus 32 now it's just 32 fahrenheit or zero celsius so much better than minus 32 or minus 28 fahrenheit Oh, I can shut Old Blue down for the night. I'll just set the timer on the engine heater so it warms up the block nice by the time I got to turn it over in the morning. Take our 10 hour break and we'll be back at it tomorrow. I'll talk to you a little bit in the morning yet. I'll show you the load and stuff and we'll wrap up the vlog then. I'm going straight to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Whoa. Nights sure fly by, don't they? That was fast. So let's quickly do a walk around and we'll wrap this vlog up for today. The blue one's mine here. This guy pulled up beside me about 20 minutes after I got here. So he's obviously going to the same place I am. So I'm not wasting one minute. I want to get there before him so that I get unloaded before him. Otherwise, I got to sit there and wait for him to un untarp, unstrap. So we'll be out of here right away. That's the load. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. So I'll see you 
for today, tomorrow, in tomorrow's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. We make videos almost every day. Hit that notification bell beside the subscribe button there on YouTube. That way you'll get notified when I do release a new video. You can follow my life day by day. You can go back over the last 10 years, day by day, as I've been trucking through life. Lots has happened. And lots, lots more things are on the way. We'll see you tomorrow.